It's a match made in heaven. That's how Vernita LaHue describes her relationship with Kit Kat, a 23-year-old quarter horse. Vernita was born without the use of her legs and began riding horses at the age of three. It was first for therapy, like OT, like all that. And then I just fell in love with the horses and it became an everyday thing. She's now 24 and is able to ride independently. I pushed for that. I wanted to learn how to ride on my own, get on the horse on my own, do everything on my own. Heather Henderson is Vernita's coach and program director at Arion Therapeutic Farm in Kelowna. She's going to trot on, outside whip, around the corner. She's worked with Vernita for the past two years, helping her improve her riding skills. For every student, we look at their individual goals. So for Vernita at the time, she wanted to do competitive dressage. Um, so it was looking at the tests that she had to ride and what was involved in those tests and then how could we utilize her skills using her whips and the pony that she had at the time to come up with a way to be successful riding that test. And that meant using her hands. Vernita uses her hands as her legs with the use of whips as well as using them to communicate with the horse. That's nice, Vernita. Well done. Her hands are her gift. You know, she has this amazing feel, which takes many years for riders to develop, if they develop it at all. And I think that has been her, her savior. I learned how to use whips as an aid for my legs that I can't use. And like, if someone with their legs taps on the horse, I just do that with my whips instead. As a therapeutic horse, Kit Kat responds to the needs of her riders. She adjusts herself according to the ability of the rider. Horses want to keep people safe. As a rule, they don't want them to fall. So they make weight adjustments and, you know, um, adjust where they need. And, and that's kind of what's cool about therapeutic riding is they have that connection. They seem to know when they need to do a certain job. And with Kit Kat, she knows right away when there's a rider that is a good rider that's just an average independent rider and she'll put on she'll put on the speed but when an, a rider that has challenges she just knows so they're hard to find horses just actually have a way of finding us we're very lucky all the kids love her she's just so nice gentle and takes care of her riders very much and that's what you can find at Arion Therapeutic Farm a caring and supportive environment that helps people with challenges become independent. Every rider has a different goal. Uh, for some, it's the physical therapy that they get from being on a horse. So the movement itself is very healing. A little inside whip now, it helps to balance riders. It helps digestive system regulation, um, emotional stability. And, you know, there's so many other things that come into play. So it's not always about becoming an independent rider. It's probably most popular. <laughs> but um, there's so many other things that horses can give people. It just gives me independence. I love riding. You can go far with it. You can go into shows. You, I don't know. I just love horses. This year, Arion is fundraising to purchase a roof for the riding ring. If you're interested in helping out or learning more about Arion's programs and services, visit arionfarm.org. In Kelowna, I'm Marianne Ockel for Shaw TV.